Hey everyone, this is Josh Hayes here, and in this video, I want to talk to you all about the Zygu X6200 radio. Now, the Zygu X6200 HF transceiver, it looks really cool right there, y'all. And it definitely looks similar to the X6100, if you can see this. But that one thing right there, that one bar, that looks kind of different. I'm not sure what that is, if that's SWR scan or what that would be. It says WF, it's probably that server thing. It probably has that server thing. Um, RF, or WF server, I mean, something like that. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go ahead and read some of this. Okay, it says, Zygu X6200, a new generation flagship ultra-portable ultra portable transceiver that uses a high-performance DRFS platform architecture and offers a convenient user experience for amateur radio enthusiasts. It has a 4-inch color screen, as you see there, y'all, a built-in battery pack, which I'll show you here in a second, an automatic antenna tuner, a microphone, and a recorder. It also supports various SDR features, such as digital filters, noise reduction, pulse interference elimination, which is kind of interesting, and spectrum slash waterfall display. It has two USB interfaces, an ACC interface, a 3.5 millimeter key interface, that's for CW or Morse code, and an S slash P interface, or that's, I believe, speaker or headphones interface. It has two external expansion component slots for additional applications and peripherals. That part right there is really interesting. Now it says highlights. HF, so it says, excuse me, highlights. HF slash 50 megahertz all mode. HF slash 50 megahertz all mode. Detachable battery pack. Built-in efficient automatic antenna tuner. Integrated standing wave scanner. And voice pager. And it also has integrated modem. Now just take a look at that radio real quick. Look at that, y'all. That radio right there, it looks really a lot like the X6100. It looks a little different for sure. And I don't know if this is just the prototype or what, but... I mean, it definitely looks different. And I don't know how good those buttons would be, you know. However, it might be pretty good because some of the pictures look a little different. This one looks pretty good. It looks more rugged, like a rugged design. Alright, it has wide FM broadcast reception, aviation band reception. That's pretty neat. Now that right there, the removable battery pack. Let's take a look at the actual mathematics of it. That's some actual pictures of it. But the pictures look different in a way. It's like a prototype where they make this radio. Let's see here. Okay. The frequency receive from 0 0.5 megahertz all the way to 136 megahertz. Now can it do 2 meters and 70 centimeters? Apparently not. And it only can transmit from 1.8 all the way to 54 megahertz. And you know, all the different types of, you know, uh, in the hand bands only is what I mean. Operating modes, sideband, CW, FM, RTTY, and AM. That right there, y'all. FM modulation frequency offset plus minus 5 kilohertz. It's pretty interesting. Minimum step, 1 hertz, microphone imp impedance, antenna impedance or impedance. I mean, external power supply voltage, 9 to 15 volts. And it talks about all this different stuff here. 
Current consumption standby 650 milliamps at max. Transmission 3.5 amps at max. Reception sensitivity wide FM slash AM. Alrighty. Now. Let's see what it says here about the transmission power. Right here. Here we go. The battery, 5 watts plus or minus 1 decibel at max. And external power, 8 watts plus or minus 1 decibel at max. I don't know if this number will change when they get this actual price on here and it's actually listed for a price. Or if this is just the wattage that it will be, 5 watts and 8 watts. If that's it, that's kind of unimpressive. I'm really hoping, like I've heard some people say, it's like the range between the two. It'll be 5 to 8 watts. And, you know, an external power supply to be 20 watts. That's what I'm hoping. However, that's not what it says. So if we go by based upon what we see here, it says battery 5 watts plus minus 1 decibel at max and external power 8 watts plus minus 1 decibel at max. So that right there has me kind of confused. Why would they have like an odd number in a way. You'd think most HF transceivers go up to 10 watts, not 8 watts. So I'm going to go ahead and say this could be an error. Not necessarily an error, but maybe just what they have for now. And when they come out with the actual radio, when they list it for a price, maybe that would be great if that, if that battery said, like, in battery power, 10 watts, and then external power, 20 watts, plugged in with like an external power supply. That would be pretty neat. But everything else, it has a built-in sound card. It's pretty much really similar. HF 50 megahertz all mode. It's really similar to the X6100 radio, except a few things. Wide FM broadcast reception, aviation band reception, uh, and not only that, it has the FM broadcast receive. You can listen to the FM radio. All right, you can listen to the aviation band. All right, y'all. No, not only that, but it has a detachable battery pack. Let me show you that right here. Let me go back up to it. That right there. Well, yeah, see it? Removable battery pack. So you can remove that. Instead of the, like the X6100 where the battery is trapped, basically inside the radio, and if it goes bad, you'd have to send it back. You can't replace it. This one you could actually replace. A removable battery pack. Evident I mean, I guess you could replace it, but it's a removable battery pack. Uh, I'll show you another picture of that battery right there that right there looks pretty neat <laughs> it really looks like a in a way it looks like a handheld HF or a handheld ham radio battery pack as you can see uh, that radio battery pack is longer than most handheld radios so the battery should last pretty good I don't know the specifics of the battery itself but that would be pretty neat to know because if you know that, then you know uh, the power it can, you know, output most likely, probably. Uh, it doesn't say much about the battery, but it has to have 9 volts to 15 volts, which is standard, even with 20 watts, I would think, or something like that. But Oh, 9 volts. So 9 volts is... Uh, I could be wrong, but that's probably just the range of the external power supply. But if it's 9 volts for the battery, then it'll be more than 5 watts. But that's just for the external power supply. So let's disregard that because it's external power supply. Uh, frequency stability. 1 minus 1 parts per million 20 minutes after start. Negative 138 decibels per minute or something like that. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what that means. Uh, but anyways, y'all. Some of this stuff, I'm not sure what it means. I, I, I wish they'll have some more number receiver. I'm not sure what that means either. Number transmitter, number receiver. I'm, I'm just kind of curious, y'all. I don't know what all this means right now general specifications then the transmitter then it says receiver
so is that let's see one second here it just says receiver so is that what it receives is that the pat the battery power that it has to receive in order for the like without transmitting no it says transmission power though so I don't get that uh, it's kind of conf confusing a little bit, uh, but I'm sure they'll have some more information about this. It says, note, the specifications and parameters of the product are subject to the actual sales status, whatever that means. Uh, it says, please note the features and images, including these features, I'm sure. Please note the features and images shown here are based on the Zygu X6200 prototype. And they may not reflect the final version of the product. We, Radiotity, are working hard to bring you the best possible X6200, and we will update this page as soon as we have the confirmed details and specifications. Thank you for your interest and support. So they will update this page as soon as they have the confirmed details and specifications. And they said, thank you for your interest and support. Okay, so that will be pretty awesome when they release that information. It's not quite released yet. There's not even a price on it, y'all. It says sold out, but there's not even a price. But anyways, y'all, I hope this video was informative. And I know there's some details that we do not have yet. I will be happy when we have these details, when they release these details. And as soon as I get the information and the details about this new radio, I will try to make a video about it for you all. And until next time, have a wonderful day and 73. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you.